micro teach session uh, is an incredibly valuable opportunity for a group of colleagues to come together and to provide a short session uh, on a topic of their choice. Traditionally, people will often take an element of their own teaching, but it doesn't necessarily need to be. It's an opportunity to provide a short, perhaps 15 minute slot, which then allows you as a group to critique that when uh, all people can feed in and then the opportunity for the next person to do. So it, it's a sort of a, a round robin situation which allows everybody to present, give feedback and to give feedback to others. Micro-teaching offers you all sorts of opportunities and, and partly depends on how you set it up. If you do it in a cross-disciplinary or interdisciplinary way, there is an opportunity to see how different disciplines perhaps approach teaching, how they conceive of, of learning and teaching in ways that perhaps in our own discipline we may not be familiar. If you do it within discipline, it allows you again to, to get at some of the things that you may be very familiar with, but see how colleagues approach them in perhaps nuanced or subtly different ways. And so it offers an awful, opportunity, awful lot of opportunity for you to engage in conversation, to, you, to throw things around and, and see. It's also, hopefully, an opportunity where you can be fairly safe. It's an opportunity to do that with peers to actually enjoy the experience of actually showing them something and engaging with them in ways that you wouldn't necessarily normally have the opportunity to do. I think preparation is important. I think we need to ensure that those involved in it understand what it is to give feedback to others, to try and give a constructive view to be prepared to think about the kinds of areas that may be useful to give feedback but also to do it in a way that allows questions to come and, and flow rather than it be seen to be a you ought to or you could do these things or you must do this. It's an opportunity to, to weigh up and think about how do you develop discussion about teaching. It's also important for individuals doing it to prepare and think about their audience, to think who is actually in the room. They're not the typical necessary students that I would usually teach. So how am I going to address that group of people? My question for those engaged in or developing micro-teaching is actually to think about how you set up a framework which allows each of those people to feel that they have a contribution to make and just like any group dynamic, to think about how you encourage participation within that. Because it's important to hear all the voices and to allow everybody to feel that they've contributed in a way that's effective and not to allow certain individuals or certain disciplines to dominate in a particular way.